my log. Well, it looks like, uh, looks like we had, uh, yeah, hey, four contacts last year in July. I tell you, Dwayne, I worked a lot of, many, many contacts on 10 meters, about 800, between 7 and 800 last year on this uh, sporadic E. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we talked about audio or something. I think I sent you a recording, maybe. Uh, I don't have that uh, laptop where I do my audio recording, but uh, very good, very, very good, Wayne, over. This is the Max Log M8800. This radio covers 26 to 31 megahertz. So basically, the 12 meter band, the 11 meter band, and the 10 meter band. It is a. Uh, it is a uh, all mode radio, lower sideband, upper sideband. Together they form the so-called sideband modes, then there is frequency modulation, there is amplitude modulation, there is CW, Morse code, and of course we have the PA. The radio is uh, computer programmable through USB. I've never done that, I found it not really to be necessary because you can also set each individual channel. Uh, by just setting the frequency for that particular channel. Uh, the radio has six bands that are freely programmable. Each band is 80 channels. So this one I programmed to be at 25.8. The antenna is not tuned there very well. Of course the radio can go much lower than that which you can do with the uh, the clarifier. The clarifier can be programmed to be only for transmit, only for receive, or both. I've set it for both, so then it basically becomes a VFO. The frequency steps can be set by pushing the clarifier, and the smallest step is 5 Hz, as you see. This is uh, 10 Hz, this is uh, 100 Hertz. This is a kilohertz steps. And this is 10 kilohertz steps. Very simple. Now the radio does have a whole bunch more features. There is a ton of things you can set. I would have to open the manual to figure all that out. Through the uh, menus you can uh, you can get there. Um, just to go over a few, there is a noise blanker, emergency channel, there is uh, 10 kilohertz up, don't know exactly what that's for. You can do high cut and low cut for the audio. There is a Roger Beep, I don't know what Beep, no, that's RB, is Roger Beep, BP, I don't know what that is. A scan list, you can do all kind of scanning modes can turn off the LCD if you're driving at night. Uh, like I said, there is a whole bunch of things, uh, battery settings, if, if you start going over all that, I'm not even sure how you... Oh, there you go. 
there is a whole bunch of things you can set but like I said I encourage you to read the manual because it's a lot uh, volume and squelch, uh, there is an echo wouldn't really need that on the handbands but at CB you might find that funny there is of course an RF gain and uh, you can set the power output power this is the uh, tuning the channel tuning and like I said you can you can basically use the uh, clarifiers if I favor oh, I've programmed it that way for instance when I go to uh, F I have said that such that there is no response but here you can do normal tuning kind of like that not much going on the band I made some recordings a couple of days back when we had good propagation so you might want to have a look at that but in any case that is how you uh, do the tuning like I said you can also tune much smaller steps but uh, you know I usually tune with one kilohertz steps and then if you hear something you go to uh, finer steps the radio has a uh, electro electroluminescent uh, front panel so it lights up in the dark because of the uh, you know the electroluminescence that you have obviously goes off if you turn off the radio during the day maybe not so visible but it's exactly the right uh, the right brightness for uh, at night I think you can even set the levels I would have to crack the manual to figure that out radio has you know traditional size for a uh, radio for these bands a CB radio basically there is a mobile bracket there is uh, up down buttons on the microphone so you can do that too I have set the programming such that it kind of covers the 10 meter band logically 5 kilohertz steps here and then as you get higher it, uh, it goes to 10 kilohertz for the event channels that's I have here like I said you can all, all that you can program you, each individual channel you can give any frequency in any mode you want very versatile let's have a look at the uh, transmitter capabilities all right I've set the radio for uh, the 12 meter band 24 9 10 megahertz I put my Yezu at the same frequency you can see quickly what we get there 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 Oops, I had the, the frequency off 1, 2, 3, Volvo Let's switch the radio to the dummy load 1, 2, 3, Volvo that is the uh, receiver. You can see how uh, the sensitivity is for the radio. This is dummy load. This is uh, this is the antenna. The radio does about 26, uh, 27 watts. If I switch to the FM mode. might be a bit easier it's 30 watts FM 30 watts in the FM mode so I would assume the radio also 30 watts PEP in single sideband mode we can switch to uh, FM here one two three one two three four five 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Frequency modulation. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See what we get in AM. One, two, three, four, five. This is amplitude modulation. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Amplitude modulation. That sounds pretty good. So that's basically what we get. Like I said, this was the uh, this was the uh, 12 meter band. We can also go to the 10 meter band. Right, we're now at. Uh, this is actually channel 38 for uh, the CB band. This is the antenna. It's a dummy load. Not much going on. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Radio puts all, out almost uh, 30 watts here. Now this radio is... Uh, I didn't tell you about that. This is a little different design from the uh, other radios that you find on the uh, market. This radio has um, a... Um, sideband uh, injection frequency that is generated by a PLL in uh, most CB radios that's done by a crystal which is then pulled around for upper sideband, lower sideband and the other modes. This one does that with a PLL and the nice thing is that the frequency because of that is very accurate and also very stable. This radio doesn't show any drift and uh, and the dual PLL system makes sure that uh, that it stays at that frequency from the moment you switch it on. Like I said, two PLLs. One is for the sideband injection frequency, for the BFO frequency if you want to call it that. The other one is for the uh, master PLL, which is a, a dual loop PLL, which allows these uh, very narrow uh, step uh, size. Like I said, 5 Hz is the smallest step size which would not be possible with a single PLL. I'm gonna do that here. That is the narrowest step size. So this radio is uh, unusual in that respect. And only Max Lock has that capability and the derivatives. You probably have seen other radios with this particular front panel layout. And those are the only radios uh, that I have found that use that concept. So uh, that is kind of unique and uh, it makes sure that your uh, frequency stability is, uh, and accuracy is excellent for this radio. Let's try the 10 meter band. Alright, we're now at uh, 10 meter single sideband frequency. We're on upper sideband. One, two, three, all right. Upper sideband. Switch to... Uh, Dummy load. One, two, three. A little bit too loud there. One, two, three, four, five. And that works pretty well as well, of course. Like I said, not much going on. Propagation is uh, is completely gone for today. But that's basically it. The Max Lock M8800. It's a, a fairly rare bird. You don't see too many of these. And like I said, the uh, the synthesizer design of this one is much smarter than all the other ones that are out there. Thank you for watching this video.
Shit, that asshole is running a kilowatt! Thank <laughs> you. 